I'm Stuart. I'm here at the Triumph Factory Visitor Experience in Hinkley during lockdown. I'd like to tell you about the new Tiger 900, specifically the chassis and starting with the objective. Now what we wanted to do was improve the handling, improve the comfort and reduce the mass. So this is a completely new chassis, completely new bike and I'm going to tell you all about it. Now as this is an all new bike and a completely new chassis, we can change everything, everything we want to change. So the fundamentals of chassis design are geometry, mass distribution and ergonomics and we've changed all three. Now the start point for that is that we wanted to get our mass lower and further forward. And this is to improve handling, especially off-road. To do that we've made major changes to the engine. The engine is still the same compact package that we had before but in addition to the increasing capacity we've also shortened the bottom of the engine completely redesigned the lubrication system to allow us to drop the engine 42 millimeters lower than the chassis and also tilt it forward by 6.8 degrees and that makes a huge difference. Now obviously the frame is attached to the engine that's the first um, contact point with, with the chassis. The frame is completely new as well not only is that holding the mass lower but it's allowing us a much narrower standover as well. Designing a new frame has allowed us further mass reduction. The frame is now modular, the front is steel, the rear is aluminium, that's where we get our mass reduction. The rear footrest hangers are also bolt-on, so that's for convenience. The centre of the bike has been completely repackaged, the frame is now narrower, the tank is narrower and the seat is narrower. Now this is to improve standover, which means you get your feet to the floor more easily, it's more comfortable. It also improves control when you're riding off-road. But Having said we wanted it to be narrower, we also wanted a larger tank. We've increased the capacity of the tank, reduced the width, and we've kept the seat height the same. So we've improved everything. Now the seat height, suspension travel, and ground clearance are all linked. We wanted to increase the suspension travel, which we've done, 20 millimeters more suspension travel. We've moved the engine forward and lower, and we've maintained ground clearance. This is a much better off-road riding experience. Okay, with a motorcycle, every part of the engine and chassis design is linked. So when we want longer suspension travel, we have to have somewhere for the wheel to actually go. Now we've moved the engine forward. Okay, now you would think that would cause a problem. What we've done to mitigate that is to split the radiator into two parts. So now the radiator fits either side of where the front wheel will travel to at full suspension bump. The added benefit of that is that we've been able to duct the hot air out of the side of the bike and away from the rider. Everything has more than one effect and more than one benefit. Now the suspension for the Rally Pro and the GT Pro are completely different. We've got different suspension components and a completely different setup to suit the use that each bike is likely to get. With the Rally Pro, we've got all new Showa suspension front and rear which is fully adjustable. This allows the rider to set up the bike exactly as they want it for the ride. The GT Pro has Mazoki electronically adjustable rear suspension. This can be adjusted through the instruments and has got presets in the riding modes. So that's a little bit of information about the Tiger 900 chassis setup. There's more information on our website. Go and have a look. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe.